I am staying at a cute room in uh, Du Bois. This is uh, the Twin Pines. It's like the cheapest option here. And uh, um, I am going to be finding a new shirt next because my shirt that I've been wearing this whole time from REI, the whole back and shoulders are worn nylon thin. Like this is so thin and now there's a big hole in the back. And I have uh, holes here. And uh, yeah, the seam's about to burst here, and then the thumb holes here. So I'm going to go on an adventure to find a new shirt in town because uh, I can't really have this happening. Um, but uh, yeah, in the meantime, I'm just enjoying this room. This bed is super comfy. Also, this tub is so deep, and it's like a jacuzzi tub. This is a, a pretty cool room. And uh, also, I have a new pack. I have my Z-Pax Arc Blast. I'm going to be sending my Osprey home because this was kind of a bit overkill. And then I'm doing a, a bounce box um, with uh, all of that. And then when I need it, I'll just go to the post office and grab it. It's like winter gear and stuff. And then I have my zero degree quilt in there because I just got my 30 degree quilt in the mail, which I wish I got a couple weeks ago. But, you know, better late than never. Back on trail, I've got a new shirt, new pack, new shoes, like everything is new, everything is great. <laughs> there was a uh, store in town that, like a Western wear store, and they were having a liquidation sale. And I got this cool shirt. <laughs> it's kind of dorky and it's fun. I love this shirt so far. <laughs> Uh, I do miss having a hood to pull up over my ears. I hope my ears don't get horribly sunburnt, but it's good to be back on trail. I feel so much more rested after that zero. I, I did need it pretty badly. Although, I mean, my body feels recovered, but I'm tired. Like my, I'm just like sleepy because I did not get enough sleep because of all the talking in the lobby. It was pretty loud. Like I could hear everything in the lobby, so. That was a bit obnoxious, but either way, um, I'm on trail and I saw my first Southbounder, the first one so far, which is really cool. I've been wondering when I'd see one and she said that she did start pretty early. So talked to her for a bit. She um, saw a couple black bears and a grizzly um, closer towards the Bob Wilderness. I think it's the Bob Marshall, I think. Uh, but nothing around here, but there were a lot of bear signs and scat and stuff like that, so I just need to be aware. Um, everyone in town has been making sure that I've got bear spray and I like know how to use it and everything like that, so um, <laughs> I guess I'll be, uh, hopefully I'll be prepared if I have an encounter. That is one giant pile of bear scat. Hmm. Oh boy. This is pretty neat. Trail is going by this uh, lodge with it's horses and a lake and it's, uh, two cars on the road too. Um, people I think coming to stay here. So many horses over there. They uh, at the little camp gun area that says that they let the horses out to pasture at 4.30 so it's after 4.30. It's kind of nice seeing all the horses just hanging out together. Oh, they're so pretty. I wish I could ride one right, right now instead of walking the trail. It'd be a lot more fun to do this on horseback.